What's up guys and gals and let's get back to it with crown takers. We're gonna fight the royal guard today We got to get over here and do the sigil bears quest though so we can figure out what he does My guess is that he's some kind of buff bot or something So this map has started out a little bit weirdly, but it should be okay. I Know what I want to do here. Ah I want to miss repeatedly. That's what I want to do and I'm excited about it as well All right Well that leaves it up to our noble hero to fix this problem, which hopefully he will there we go, running around rapidly like a maniac, and that still does not put him where I want him to be. So let's go ahead and I'm going to collapse backwards, actually. On this side, let's take a stab at this archer. Boom! And then, oh, he, wait, what? Ow, oh, shit. Alright, so now I'm going to stab my own guy in the face if I mess this up. Hold on. There we go. I, I really try not to stab my own characters in the face. What I want this guy to do... <gasps> oh no, there's another one! He stabbed... No! Oh man, my ass has a new hole in it. That's lame. I don't enjoy this. And I've been knocked back again. You know I'm gonna backstab you if you leave your facing like that. All right, so on this side, there's a couple things I need to do here. Let me see if I can one-shot this guy. There we go, so I got him one-shotted, which then leaves me with two AP, which I'll figure out what I wanna do with those in just a second. I would prefer to get rid of his armor somehow. And so having disposed of his armor, I'm trying to extricate my crossbowman right now, if you're wondering. I would love for him to not be in combat anymore. Dodge! Or, you know, take the spear straight to the face, whichever makes you happy. And then miss, of course. Don't do, do no part of your job right. Make sure you do it all wrong. God. This game. This game is slowly murdering me. Alright, so we've stabbed him in the back. He should go down. The armored foes are quite a bit more dangerous than a lot of the other ones. It doesn't look like we're anywhere near a level up just yet. We've got plenty of healing items, so I should be able to fix most of this stuff. We got ourselves another... Did I search this house already? Pretty sure I did, yeah. Alright, so there's Lieutenant Shear. He's gonna be a remaining problem. And so we ran into Lieutenant Shear in the previous episode and it had some problems with him. He had been kind of a duty face to us. I guess I'm gonna heal up as much as I can. Anybody who's wounded, let's give you one. We'll use that on you as well, there we go. And that puts people pretty close to where I want them to be. What potions do we have? We have a stealth potion and we have a strength potion. Both of those are going to help out against this guy. We only have one gold. All right, well, let's give Lieutenant Shear one more go. We don't really have much of a choice here, so let's go for it. I know what I want to do with him now. It's just I've got to... Are you serious? Why would you put my archer right there? Why do you hate me? Uh, this game. This game is going to be the death of me. And, of course, it starts their character in the perfect position. It's like, ah. Oh. Alright, Operation Run the Hell Away is in effect for my guy with the Arbalest here. Alright, so run away for a second. You are free to go, sir. Let's take our swipes right here. Okay, so our first enemy has been dealt with. And what I would really prefer to do is we need room to maneuver if we're going to fight him. We need to get around behind him. That's the only thing that matters right now is if we can't get around behind him, we're toasted. And so I'm going to use guard. I would prefer to move him forward by one as well, but if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Over here on this side, we're going to put him on guard mode right there. And if they decide to go after him, yeah, we're still... We're in deep deedly doodly if they go after him, so unfortunately they did indeed go after him. The upshot to this is that this guy right here has no attack of opportunity, so you should be able to wheel around him fairly- oh god. Like why does the enemy always start out in such advantageous positions? Like I really wish there was a deployment phase and like a- like every other turn based game, like you deploy where you want to deploy, they deploy where they want to deploy within reason and then you converge. Because with this random set that they have right now, it really sort of screws you. I'm going to backstab him. I'm going to use a potion before I do it. Plus two strength. Okay, so there's ten damage. We're going to get him stuck. I'm going to keep my facing. I'm going to have my paladin 
wheel around and do something. I don't know. Try to kill that guy at the bare minimum. And then he can't... Oh, he does have attacks of opportunity. He's just got limited opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and have him guard, I guess, to maybe give him a better chance to dodge. And that looks like it's going to end my turn. We're probably going to lose him too. But if you have less than two guys, you really can't win this fight. Which becomes really, really problematic. Okay, so we may be able to get Lieutenant Shear here. It depends what his final facing is going to be. Oh, we got him! He actually got himself. Like, I didn't even really need to contribute to that. But basically, I feel like after I fought the last battle, I sat down. Didn't really think about it super hard, but I realized you needed to set him up in between two people no matter what you do. And actually, Theo Gall might survive as well. We're not in bad shape right now. We're not in bad shape. So can you get around behind? You can. Okay, so you get around behind him. You soften up that armor so that it doesn't soak up the first hit. He's going to get a dodge and a counterattack, unfortunately. And that's also going to change the facing. Ah! I shouldn't have gone for the second. Oh my god, he double dodged? This game and its misses are just really, really injuring me right now. I honestly, the game is so simple that I feel like they could just leave missing out of the game and it would still be fine. Like, you just take swings at people and it'd be okay. Because it's not like the game has enough, like, attacks and combos and things like that to make the misses, like, worth it. Hopefully somebody hits him right now. I was going to say, I only did this because I figured we'd get two attacks of opportunity if you went after the weak guy. So I prefer, we got Melodar knocked out. Hopefully we make some cash right here. If we don't, we got three bravery potions. That's actually really, really bad loot. That's almost an utter waste of time, to be honest. That's really, really bad loot. Let's go back and, <laughs> considering you got six gold for the last one, that's pretty terrible loot. We have healing potions. She has another healing potion. I'm probably just going to... I mean, these are really, really useful. <sighs> I don't know. I got to get enough... I got to sell something so that we can at least get a res potion going. We also need to rest, which is the other bad part of this. Our accuracy is down because we're exhausted. So maybe... I guess I'll sell all of those. I'm gonna... I don't like doing this, but it's necessary because with a minus 10% penalty, that explains why we've been missing so much. So now we need to go back to the innkeeper. Oh, I need to res first. Hold on. We want to res first. We got to do this in the proper order. So res scroll, we'll use that on Melodar. There it is. Melodar's all taken care of. And so now what I want to do is I want to go to the innkeeper. We'll rent a room. We'll get our exhaustion back. Once that's all nice and restored, they're going to get 2 HP as well. And so that actually benefits us the most because that puts pretty much a large proportion of our force back into fighting shape without us having to use any of our wine. And I don't, I don't like to wine in these situations. I would prefer not to. And so now we've got to go up to the next map and we've made it to step four. I don't know. If, have, we, have I been here yet? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Anything could really happen though. Ancient sewers. A hatchway in the street leads to the city sewers, but nothing could have prepared you for what you discover in the muddy underground passages of Belim. While exploring a tunnel, you end up in a gigantic cave filled with the ruins of a huge city. You start walking along a street leading to a place nearby. You discover a gigantic statue lit by the torch of a previous explorer. Ten gold. Yeah, that gets us back into tip-top shape. Okay. All right, we're back in business. I was a little bit worried, but we're back in business now. We're back in business. Commander Barka. Okay, so Commander Barka looks pretty hardcore. I don't know what she does, but she's got a big sword. Got a small inn right here. We could technically hire a fourth mercenary. I don't know if that's a good choice right now, though. What does the waitress have for us? So she's got meat. That's good. I like meat. I like to use it. I like to have it in my inventory. It gives 10 HP back. That would give us a little bit more bargaining room. Yeah, let's take those. We'll take those, and then... I don't really see anything else that seems to be useful at the blacksmith. Can I do anything right here right now? I'm sure I can upgrade somebody, right? Yeah, we can upgrade somebody. And we've got a weapon rune. That's not very good. It reduces your skills cooldowns by one. It would probably be best on him. Because he's got aimed shot. 
And so he's pretty much got the only ability that's actually like useful out of everybody. Everybody else is a situational. His is the only one that you can actually find yourself spamming every now and again. So the hovels, let's do the quest for the new mercenary so that in future playthroughs we can unlock him. The demons are hiding not far from here. I can feel their evil ple present with a nose like that. Believe me, as a fellow big-nosed friend with a nose like that, I bet you could smell the demons too. I would. If I was that close, I'd smell them. Let's go. Oh, and we're up against brigands again. All right, let's get in behind him. Go for the backstab. I'm going to put my main character in harm's way for a little bit, just because he's such a good DPSer. But basically what's going to happen right here is they're going to come out of stealth, and they're just going to obliterate us in the next turn. It's going to be, what do you do, by the way? A banner that increases the strength of adjacent allies by two, provides a bonus to dodge, and retaliate for your next two. Okay. So maybe drop your banner, like right here. Can enemies move through the banner zone? That's the only part that I would worry about. And then what I would prefer is let's get my shooty guy back over here and we'll just make like a nice little cogent line right here. The rogues tend to come out of like nowhere though, which is my only... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That leaves a gaping hole in my line. I wish there was an undo button because I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Let's go ahead and I'm going to have overwatch on him. We'll watch that way and if anybody comes out, we'll take a shot at him. Here it comes. Yep, there it is. They're going to get like five backstabs on this turn. It's always bad. Oh, they've actually got an archer way over there. Okay, so things to be dealt with. He's got a bunch of strength, so he should be able to handle that. I'm going to bring him back in over here. Let's keep an eye on things. I'm actually going to bum rush this over here. And in the interest of... Oh, I sold my potions. Never mind. Ah, those dodges. Those 90% dodges are just murderous. Do I get a counterattack back? No. Well, fine then. I didn't want to counterattack back anyways. I'm going to try and line up here so that if they do anything, I get a freebie hit on him. He has line of sight. I should have just taken the shot. I made a mistake right there. Lovely little crit, though. Lovely little crit. And what does he do? Just 2 to 5 damage? Alright, we'll get in here with everybody else then. He's got a puffy shirt, which I admire. Our hero may be in for a little bit of trouble, but maybe we'll pull it out. Oh, there's another backstab coming. Okay. We should get double damage right there, so yeah, there it is. Got another rogue back in over here. Unfortunately, can I automatically attack in a direction? Can I do that? It won't let me? Ah! So that's, yet again, another issue. Another issue. So let's get rid of this guy, I guess. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a crit out of it. Doesn't look like it, though. He's got himself a battle axe. With the freebie AP, I'm going to watch his back because I don't think they can teleport through players. At least I'm pretty sure that they can't. I wish that there was a way to uncover people in stealth. I guess I'll just put him on guard and we'll hope for the best. And if they can jump through lines, that's going to be really, really bad for us. I don't think you can when you're invisible, though. I think you still have to, like, play by the rules. Like, you can't go through characters or anything. Yeah, so I was going to say he should just strike from the front or something. But there's no penalty for him striking from the front. That's the upshot of the whole thing. Alright, so the last Brigand goes down. Did anybody level? No, because Theogal's knocked out. I think we still have the money to fix that, though. At last, I have recovered my precious standard. Well then, friends, I will not be ungrateful. I shall accompany you and help you in return. That seems that seems alright. That seems alright. And so now we've got a standard standard that is holding our standard. I believe that I will search the home over here. Let's see. I'm going to search it. The group loses one HP. It was the sick guys again. We got that one, I think, in the first episode. I think we are going to have to heal pretty soon, but... Got to do what you got to do. Oh, good. We got another Balletus. Okay, so let's go all the way back to the inn. 
And we're going to square off against a boss before we break off this episode. I'd like to get the boss done. And I, if we're going to die, I'd like to... Oh, good. There's another group of thieves over here. Okay. I don't really like fighting thieves because you're going to take... There's no way to beat thieves efficiently. You're going to take damage no matter what when you fight thieves because they get to go stealth, which removes all penalties from them attacking, like attacks of opportunity and things like that. So essentially, there is no good strategy for fighting thieves. You just take damage and you just sort of deal with it. Let's sell that off. We're going to need to buy a Resurrect Scroll, which was expected. That's fine. And then let's res our boy. So we got Theogol back up and ready to ride. So he got 3 HP out of that. Not too terrible. Let's use... Who has the least health missing? So everybody's a little bit banged up. I'm going to use the Balletus on the hero. He got 4 HP out of it, so it procced really high that time. That's good. Over here, I'll probably allow him to use one of the meats since we're going up against a boss right here. And then I'll probably leave everybody else where they are. I don't want to use too many resources in one fight. Anything else? So. We have... God, there's nothing back up in here. So, just in case we need it, I would say to buy a campfire right now. Just in the off chance that it ends up becoming, like, a thing that needs to happen. I hope it doesn't, but let's go fight the boss now while we've got good health. A middle-aged woman is standing before you with a serious expression. She might have been pretty if the war hadn't left her face scarred and her eyes full of a strange and distant glow. So you were the coward that she let through. Fortunately, the mass graves are still burning. We won't need to bury you elsewhere. I don't think that if I plowed through your men, how does that make me a coward? I mean, I wiped out everybody I've been coming across so far. I would say that you could say that she, I mean, even you couldn't even call Sheer a coward, to be honest. Oh, wow. She's kind of tough. Okay. Well, then. Getting a little popling and crackling in the music. I apologize for that. The game does that. And so, unfortunately, with a terrible hit rate in this game, it's just like, every time, every time. All I want to do is trap her in. God, another dodge? Are you serious right now? Oh my god. Alright, well... Invisibility potion isn't going to help, but neither is that. So, since he's got line of sight, let's get rid of that armor. Let's go ahead and get that off of her. There we go, so that no matter what she does with her next attack, at least she got to take a little bit of... This game has a bug where the audio randomly starts fizzling, and it drives me nuts. I actually really, really do dislike it. It's sort of a disruptive little thing. And so let's go over here. She's going to attack somebody. What? She blink strikes? Oh my god. Okay, so... No. What is that? Are you serious? So she just teleports all over the place all willy-nilly as much as she likes? Oh, man. Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do now. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're toast, my friends. I think we are toast. If he nails both of his hits right here, which he didn't. So that leaves us in a rather terrible spot. I mean, this is a really, really awkward spot for us right now. Basically, this is like the sauna at my gym all over again. Just utterly awkward. And so I I think our archer is probably toast now. I'm, I'm thinking that he's not going to make it. He's not, gonna, he's not looking so solid right now. He's not looking so solid. So my hope here was to, like, pin her in. But, oh god, okay, so we got a dodge and a counterattack. Eh! Oh, it hurts so much. Okay, so she's perforated me yet again. I think that our chances of survival have just about hit a maximum low right now. My only hope was to dig out my archer right there so that he could double shoot on her. But, there, there he goes. He's now made of smoke and also a spearhead inside of him. And so I suppose that leaves us in kind of the odd... Yep, there it is, the death blow. And so we face defeat. I will see you all in our next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and I do. This game will be the death of me, I swear it. I swear it!